You are absolutely useless. Well, at least I'm not some boring old stiff. Get out of my bar. Fine. Operator, give me the ghost of interest. Oh, thank God you're here. I'm your Jim Cash, the current manager and prime suspect in the murder of Jake Pond. I'm Blake, and this is my partner Kay. Look, the reason I called you here is because I need you to catch this freaking ghost. We're aware of that. Um, is there any details you can give us about the ghost or what happened? Well, the ghost is the former manager who was killed here about a month ago. The police never found the murderer. Hmm, interesting. Perhaps if we catch his killer, it might aid in bringing his spirit to rest. Um, where was the ghost last seen? Theater number 12. What is this? This is my guitar man. I have followed me around in honor of my cousin, Johnny Cash. Third cousin. Once removed. There is no way you are related to Johnny Cash. I am. Now go and do what I'm paying for you to do. So basically, all we need to do is find the ghost, figure out who killed him, and put his spirit to rest. I mean, Jim's the killer. He has to be. The police report said that Jim and Jake were seen having an argument in the bar, and then the next morning, Jake was found dead in the bar. Yeah, well, we have to keep an open mind. The police report also said there were two other suspects, Robin the bartender and Kyler Durden the projectionist. Well, movies have taught me anything, so Mr. Durden probably doesn't exist. <laughs> well, first we should go and check out the site, and then interview all the suspects. Get out of here! We don't want you here! Get out! And never come back! What happened? I saw a ghost, I swear I did! It, it's okay, what happened? He was standing! Right there! Hmm, interesting. You're Kyler Durton, the projectionist, correct? Yeah? Okay, do you have any other details that might be able to help? No, it, don't ask again! Oh yeah, there was definitely a ghost in here. Electromagnetic frequencies are off the charts. But why? Wasn't he murdered in the bar? Yeah, well maybe the argument you and Jake were having had something to do with this theater specifically. Maybe. So you saw the ghost here, right? Yeah, I saw it when I was working behind the bar. Hmm. And the body was found behind the bar, correct? Yeah, I was the one who found it. Interesting. Do you have any details you can give us? Not really. I mean, I guess I have something. Uh -huh. What is it? I'm not sure if this has anything to do with what happened, but Jim was the assistant manager at the time, and it was common knowledge that he wanted to be manager, but Jake was the manager, and they fought an awful lot, and sometimes it would get so intense that we'd have to leave. I'm not saying that Jim did it, but I don't know. Hmm. Did you by any chance overhear what they were arguing about? Yeah, lately customers have been complaining about getting headaches during 3D movies. Ever since we got the new projectionist, Kyler, Jim wanted to get rid of 3D altogether, but Jake wanted to fire Kyler and keep 3D. I overheard when I was leaving. Interesting. Thank you for your cooperation. No problem. Oh my 
gosh, Blake, are you seeing this? Blow it! Dang it, it's been ghost hacked! I'm on it. What are you guys doing here? Did the ghost come out here? No. Now go away, I have work to do. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid we're gonna have to ask you a few questions first. Fine, ask away. So, Kylo Durden, that's your name, right? Yeah, now why are we doing this interview? I already told you, I don't know anything. Jake, how'd you like him? He was a good guy, I guess. So I was playing those stupid 3D movies and that chased me off! Anything else? Like I said, he was a good guy. He never supported me as a filmmaker in that. That's a different story. Now, do you need anything else? No, thank you very much for your time. <sighs> okay, Jim is the last person we need to interview. Were these always like this? I mean, I saw these are something like this earlier, but I didn't think much of them. Maybe it's like a clue of some sort. Maybe. Hey, how's it going? Good. Um, we were actually just looking for you. Oh, well, how may I be of assistance? Well, I can start by telling your friend over here to cut it out with the guitar. No can do. Why not? Because he had to the atmosphere. What atmosphere? Okay. We understand that there was some sort of argument between you and Jake on the night of the murder. Yes, we were arguing about how the customers were complaining about the 3D movies giving them headaches. And we were losing money because of it. I suggested that we get rid of 3D movies altogether. But he suggested we get a new projectionist. And then that was the whole argument. Mm -hmm. Thank you, that's all. It's Jim, it has to be. I'm not sure. The ghost keeps taking us places, but isn't really showing any defining clues. Do you see that? What does this mean? Wait, I think I know who the killer is. Wait, Kay, wait up! Admit it, you've been stealing money from the theaters! No! And how much longer do you expect me to put up with your baseless accusations? So the stupid 3D movies we keep playing, each one of them is 1D too many. They're costing us way more than they're worth. 1D too many, Mr. Durden? Is that what you told the late Jake Pond, former manager recently promoted to Ghost? Of course he knew I wasn't a fan of that dumb fat. Wasn't a fan? That might just be the understatement of the year. I think explosively violent is a little bit more fitting. Don't you, Jim Peterson? What? We did a little digging and found out that you changed your name from Peterson to Cash ten years ago. Maybe! Maybe I did! But that doesn't mean that I'm the murderer! Of course not. That title belongs to Mr. Durden. <laughs> That's ridiculous! I'm not a killer! Well, I think Mr. Pond's ghost may have something to say about that. He's been leaving us clues everywhere. By going into the only theater that plays 3D movies, by turning all the theater lights red and blue, and by flying into your projection booth. And you were about to be fired by Mr. Pond because he found out that you were tampering with the projectors in the 3D movies to get the customers to stop seeing them, costing the company millions of dollars. So you weren't embezzling money, we just weren't making it. Indeed. I was not expecting him. Well, because you were so stubborn that Jim was the one who did it. Yeah, but we did catch him. I would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for you meddling ghost hunters. Ghost, ghost Avengers. Avengers. <laughs>